Hello, everybody. Welcome to Nugo Terra Odyssey. Thank you guys for all your great comments. I was finally able to get in and answer some of them. Let me make sure this light is all right on this. Um, I was just reading them this morning. They got me in the best mood, so I wanted to do an extra video for today for you guys to say thank you. It's really beautiful, and I'm going to be taking all my goodies outside shortly to um, do some outside reads for you, too and just you know so we can hear the birds and nature and sound and everything so what i wanted to provide for you guys was another soulmate update a lot of you guys are new i saw some new subscribers so for those of you who hadn't experienced any of my soulmate reads and then also some of my regulars it'll reiterate some of the facts it'll open up new doors because as we know energy always shifts our minds always change we raise the bar we expect more we turn in new directions and right now, a lot of you guys are going to be getting returns for past efforts. You know, this planning did not go unnoticed by the universe. So don't get caught up in your head thinking that all that work or all that effort or all that focus was for nothing because it absolutely wasn't. The universe is paying attention. It's going to start to come back. So all those CVs out there, all those interviews, all that schoolwork, all the stuff that you've done, that you've done, the results are going to start to trickle in and then snowball and you're going to have a huge sense of relief. So don't pay attention to that trickster part of our mind that says, where if it hasn't arrived, it's not coming. Simply not true. It is on its way and you guys are about to feel it. And nothing negative is going to impact you unless you internalize it and ruminate and, you know, start to get worried about it. And I often do this in terms of my work because I take so much pride in producing stuff that is beautiful and of quality when it comes to my Etsy store and my jewelry and all of that. Speaking of that, you guys, I'm going to have another killer giveaway. I have a giveaway right now. Um, I, if I post this tonight, it's still going on. It's for choosing anything you'd like out of my shop as well as a free read. And I'm going to be doing that drawing tomorrow. And it's all just done through luck. I pull cards in the first two letters that come up. If that's in your moniker or your name, then you win. So come on over and see me at Sparkwist 11. Now I want to show you the other thing. If I can locate it, I have so many pieces and things around me right now. If I don't see it right away, I will put it up after because I'm not sure what I did with the other ring. Anywho, you guys, I'll come back to that. But I want to show you something else. I want to thank everybody for ordering my clear runes that I just finished and created. They look so beautiful. And some of it's just on clear. It's Some of it looks like crackle glass. Really beautiful. I did it in different colors for each set. has like four or five different colors in it. And a little booklet and pamphlet is going to come with it. If you see yesterday's video, yesterday's video you'll see it. I I love these because they're substantial weight and size. And a lot of times what happens is you'll get these little cheesy runes that um, you can't even read the runes. You don't know what's going on and they, they're they chintzy and they're very small, but I wanted some big ones. Like look how it looks in the palm of my hand, the size of it, right? Good and weighty. You can put it on cards. You can use it as paperweights. They're really beautiful. And I did them so inexpensively, you guys. I think they're only like $25, $28. Um, because I want to provide you guys with some cool resources and stuff. Guess what I just located? I just located my giveaway stuff. I'm going to put it on to model it for you. I got a hold of some really beautiful um, Colombian emeralds. And so I am, I created this, this double doozy. And this is going to be a giveaway, both of these together. It is a size eight, beautiful, high quality crystals and um, an emerald. So this is going to be a giveaway. So if you come over and you subscribe, first of all, you have to sub be subscribed or subscribe to my YouTube channel. Come over and follow me on Instagram. And that's all you have to do. And there'll be a big photograph of this and it'll say emerald contest. Who wants to win? Every week I do giveaways. I love my crazy posse and tribe over there. You guys are amazing. And you know, you just make me laugh with the funny memes. We're just silly. Life is silly. And there's so many areas of the world right now, you guys, that are in peril and jeopardy and are ridiculous with all the things going on. So when we center and just pray for everything, we remove ourselves from the hostilities and the hardness of the world. And we place ourselves in the aspect of beauty and generosity. We feel that, right? So I feel like that's why I really want to amp up on some of my um, giveaways and fun contests and stuff you guys love. So you have stuff to look forward to. And, um, you know, it just, it makes me feel better. And I have all the resources to make these things. And I love making them. And sometimes I will make things and I'm like, I can't even really price that. It looks so killer. I'm like, it has to be in a giveaway for sure. So come on over at Sparkwist 11. All my, um, stuff is down below. If you hit the little arrow, everything's in there. So come on over and win some goodies. Cause you guys, you support and love me and 
truly from the depths of my heart. I love and support you. You guys are amazing. And like I said, whenever you guys are going through an issue, if you feel like you don't have someone who communicates well or is really listening to you, always feel free to DM me something that's going on. You know, um, I have a lot of resources and I know a lot of people and I've informed and educated myself on a lot of issues and I'm happy to listen to whatever you're going through, you know, a lot of people um, are now deciding to go out on their own and their families don't agree with the path they're taking. So nobody's really listening. And I'm more than happy to do that for you guys. You know, I know that sometimes um, when we're not provided with somebody that, you know, is even willing to listen to our dreams and our hopes, we feel very isolated. I'm always there for you guys. So if you ever want to DM me, feel free to. So let's get on and see what is going on for you guys. I'm going to move this candle so I don't light all my little arm hairs on fire. I'm like, ah, that candle's a little close. So we are going to start with the first three. We have a blessing on your day. We have a blessing on your home. And then we have a blessing uh, of the earth. And the numbers are five and 10 and one, if they're also significant for you as well. So I'm going to let you make your choice. I'm going to have a little sipsy of coffee. All right, you guys. So let's dig in and see what's going on for, for number one. And it was so funny the other day when I did a soulmate update. Number two, um, afterward, I had to do like a second mini read because I think on number two, I left out the initials. Number three, I left out the Zodiac. It was like all over the place because the messages were coming so fast. So if anything that you're particularly um, curious about gets omitted, and, you know, it's, it says I'm going to choose that because in this one, I'm definitely choosing initial zodiac, you know, temperament, potentialities, all of that. And, you know, if it ever gets left out and you're curious about something, just add in a comment. Hey, Mel, by the way, I was curious about this because sometimes I get on hyperspeed and I don't know what's what. <laughs> I'm like, did sometimes, and it used to be you guys that I wouldn't even differentiate between the numbers. It was so funny. So let's begin with a blessing on your day. So right away, we're going to read the signs because I want to see what potential um, zodiacs they can be for you. Okay, shuffle up, I guess. So we have Capricorn, beautiful, and Libra. So I'm going to start with some of the qualities of Libra. Very harmonious, co cooperative, very balanced. They're socially aware. They're very artistic, and they're very people-pleasing because they like a balanced atmosphere. They don't like squabbling. They don't like um, unfairness. So it's like they will come to the root of the matter to make sure things are fair and balanced for sure. They're very idealistic, graceful, considerate, obliging. They're, I find them lovely. There's, it's one of my favorite. I say everything's my favorite sign but I've got to say I love me some Capricorn Aquariuses and Libras I'm a Sagittarius and I love fire signs but it's almost like we have a nuclear combustion if there's too many Sagittarians with Aries but Aries I am most attracted to in terms of wanting to spend time with them because they're dynamic and fiery and all of that but Libras you will feel calm and settled and like together and they're not they're they're not aggravating in anything you know I feel like they're not compulsive and like too zesty they got it together for sure Capricorn other boss very very true in almost every single regard right here. You know, they are serious. They are authoritative. They are ambitious. They're realistic. They're structured. They're badass. They're majestic. They get things done. They know that registration is in that car. They know, you know, that you've got backup LED lights. You've got everything you need. They just have it together. They kind of just formulate this beautifully structured life where they don't have all these loose ends because they take care of it then and there. Oh, my oil is all fill her up. Oh, I need this change out light really, really together where like, I'm like, Oh, I'll get to that. And then I'll have like just this arbitrary stuff at the store. I'll go in and get nothing that's on the list. Capricorn gets everything that's on the list. All of that. They have it together. Now let's get your initials. Do, 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 do. Where are those? What's going on? Here's the, here's our deck. All right. So initials, we have P and S. That tended to come up a lot. I'm just going to do two initials today. One may be yours. One may be theirs. One may be their last or first name. And remember, this is for a collective. So things may be different. But I also like that these came up because they are your soulmate. Obviously, 40 might be a special number. It may be an address. It may be their age. It may be there's something unique about this number 40 for you guys, for sure. And again, prosperity is arriving. As your frequency goes up in your vibration, you're attracting good things, not only your love, but of course, um, abundance, you know, material goods, your resources you need, all of that. You're just in really good stead for all the things that you need. And you're going to feel more generous. You're going to feel more situated. You're going to feel like you have all that you need. And let's get your time frame. So we have five months for you guys looking good. And I want to pull just, let me see, I'm going to pull 
to tarot to see some of the stuff. Oh, I like this. So night, when we have this Knight of Cups, you have someone who's very affectionate, someone who's very attentive, also someone who is very authentic in who they are, very honorable, true North Compass. They know where they're going. They mean what they say. I also feel like this group is very adaptable because because they live their life honorably and they're on a quest for for bigger things they don't get waylaid by pettiness or all of that they're kind of like a virtuoso when it comes to navigating emotional conflict and waters they don't get underneath the current and get swept in they just kind of float above it and if they can make peace with others and make other people feel good they will but they're not inundated by any of the crazy stuff that that goes on Wow, look at all this. Yeah, these, this is definitely someone who's affectionate and really, really in touch with your emotional needs, other people's emotional needs with this King of Cups. They are very authoritative. I feel that Capricornian energy coming on. Um, they're going to get on with your family and your friends too because they're situated in such a way that they've lived a good, rich, industrious, solid life so they don't feel their need to prove themselves. So they're not, competita they're not competitive or they're not... Um, you know, they're not petty at all. So they don't feel the need to put anybody down to elevate themselves. And people really like that. And they also feel a very warm, beautiful vibration that emanates from them, a calmness, a clarity, a an inner balance. You know, again, I feel that they've got Libra in their chart too, for sure, because it's like one of those things that they don't go manic in one direction and they don't go hyper speed in another direction. They're focused, they're calm, they have follow through and they're going to help you really feel loved and really feel secure and really feel balanced and really feel special and really feel like you're the only one. And that's important because some people get so busy within their lives that they forget and, and what matters. And that makes, that's making the person you love feel loved, right? Sometimes we forget that. I often have to remind myself when he comes in the room after work, Hey, how was your day? How are you feeling? You know, he's not a piece of furniture. He's, you know, he deserves love and attention as do we all. And you're going to start to feel that group one, which I love. That's so beautiful. So that is you guys. I think we got the time. We got all the, the, the deets and I do updates where I add more things on there, you know, like every other day weekly. So you'll be getting more updates on this as well. So that's you guys. Um, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to press subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. So you can be entered in my emerald and crystal giveaway over on IG. Go over there. I will probably be posting that contest tomorrow morning. Again, subscribers and followers over there are all automatically entered anyway when you come over there because I do it, you know, I just scroll down and go through uh, things and I just incorporate everybody in there. And if you need a private read and you want a, all the finite details on this, I can provide that for you as well. My links are down below for private reads. Thank you all my patrons for supporting and um, contributing to my channel and allowing me to get cool decks and have all the fun stuff that I need to keep the channel running smoothly. You guys are the best. So that's you guys loving light too. I'm very excited. So you got five months. Beautiful. PSSP is the initials. I'm loving the fact that it's just flowing now. It's like, you get it. You get the big picture. You're like, I'm not wallowing anything. I'm not second guessing anything. I'm not having doubts. I have, you know, I'm ready to be empowered and feel good about who I am and where I'm going. And I don't need to make adjustments for other people. I'm good, boo. I'm good. <laughs> and you are. Okay. So we are going now to number two. And I'm going to have a sip. I also find when I have a pause and I have a sip of something to drink, I can sort of moderate my voice and slow down because the messages come very quickly. So I like to be able to um, speak slowly so you guys can get all your details. Now we're going to find out their ooh, zodiacs. Oh, you guys, you have fire on top of fire. I feel like you attract fire signs anyway, because it's such a dynamic sign. Both of them, it's like, it's amazing. And these are two of my favorite signs for sure. Aries is the radical. They are the leaders. They are active, self-starting, super daring, fierce, assertive, fiery, super engaging, exhilarating. They can be argumentative at times. I've work with Aries and they always, they want that lead role. They've got it. If they have an idea, get out of the way because the terrain is coming choo choo. They just, they're on fire and they're geniuses. I mean, they are really awesome. Um, again though, they can be bossy. I can be that way too. I'm a mutable fire sign and I, you know, I got to slow my role at times too, being a Sagittarius. We just like, sometimes we get an idea and we're like, we can't be hindered. Our dream can't be hindered. Everybody get out of the way. <laughs> Leo's as well. Another fire, the lover, wonderful, expressive, beautiful sign, creative, loving. They are really playful. They have the best 
has sense of humors. They're kind of goofy and fun. They don't, they don't care. They're just like, if they want to express, they express. It's really beautiful. They are confident. They are flirtatious. They're, they glow. You know, they are in the room when they're in the room. They up the game and the frequency of the room for sure. So blessings comment down below. If you're either an Aries or Leo and you feel that constant fire and glow and passion and all of that, because it definitely is always going for you guys. Now let's get your initials. I'm doing all these first so I can remember that I did them. <laughs> and then I can get on to personality details. Okay, so we have HD, DH, beautiful. And one of those can be yours or theirs. And again, I feel like this is part, healing is part of who they are intrinsically. They are, you know, someone, they heal through their touch, their words. I feel like they have a beautiful, harmonious voice. They are someone who carries really high resonating healing energy. They are in touch with their divine self and they understand that they don't need to be harsh, bitter, competitive, or anything at all you know they know in the when it comes to just being a good person they got it that they, they, they've reached it there's a maturity in that now ten of emotions is saying life is a blessing and it's blessing you with wonderful and loving family great happiness and emotional fulfillment they are now on the horizon so harmony with those you love is assured offering forgiveness understanding and kindness to others you're rewarded with unconditional love so this is a love phase for you where you feel good and you're like, you know what, I'm just not going to be hindered by, you know, these old kind of, um, you know, it's like these stagnancies that sometimes can occur in friendships and families where you resent someone and it builds and then all of a sudden there's just that energy. You're just letting it go because as you raise in your frequency and your calling and your soulmate, all that kind of just goes away. You know, you invoke this kind of peace and honor and you care for your soul. You honor the divine and you're practicing extreme self-care right now, which is bringing in good things for you in this release. Let go. Whenever we release our attachment to outcomes and and resentment, we allow the power of grace to really come in and work its magic. And you're, you just know that now, you know, you're ready for your high frequency. You're ready to enjoy life. You're ready to really plug into that. Now here's something about them too. They're very well traveled and you're going to move in a new direction when they arrive. They've been many places. They've seen a lot of things that are on your bucket list. I feel like they, they love those, um, you know, what is it? The world, um, is it UNESCO? The, the world UNESCO sites that are just so beautiful. Like they're really into that. They're into nature and they understand elements and they understand how to purify. Just very balanced. It's someone who's super well, you know, well aware of self and what's going around and the emotional temperature of the room. And they can read, you know, those beautiful expressions and micro expressions on face. They know when someone's in pain and uncomfortable, they have a lot of empathy. And that's something that attracts. Again, this is going to be one of those things where it's undeniable. They walk in, boom, everybody is just smitten and blown, you know, blown for a loop. You just know it. And it's not one of those things where you feel uncomfortable or you feel um, threatened or you feel bad or anything like that. It's like, you just feel like I've got this, you know, I feel really good. So let's get some time frames. We have four months. That's funny. The other group was five months. So it looks like four months. And again, it's like, you're planting the seeds. You've already done this. You're bringing in this manifestation. And again, I, this, this definitely harkens back to the beginning that you'll be getting a lot of returns right now in the past efforts. You've been doing visualizations, you've been doing affirmations, and now they're going to pay off. You know, it's a lot of people are like, when, 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 but that creates blockages and hardship in your own life because then we're always looking at what we don't have. And you started looking at what you do have and why you have gratitude. And that's why all this great love and abundance is coming in for you. You are in a super deserving phase karmically and otherwise. So I'm very, very happy for you group too. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Don't forget to press like and subscribe, subscribe, and then you can go out and win, win, win. You can win your beautiful emerald set with crystals. If you go over and you've already subscribed, you go over to my Instagram, which is sparkrist11, and you just start following. And I'm going to start that because there's already a contest running where you can win anything from my shop as well as a free read. It's a mega giveaway. I, I just love to do this. If I, I mean, I can always find time. I'm very good and I delegate my time wisely. So I'm going to definitely be giving back to you guys as much as possible because you provide me with so much and you guys are amazing and your feedback and your comments and your love and support means the world to me. So come on over there and join in too. And also if you need a private read and you want all the details and the finites and what's going on and how you meet and ages and all of that. I'll be able to help you out with that as well. And all my links are down below for that as well. So beautiful, beautiful energy. I'm loving the fact that you got two fire signs too. I really do want you to comment if you're already one of these signs, because I just love the energy from, from Leo's and Aries. It's just like, it's, it's, it's like, 
so powerful and so unique and so dynamic that you are just never bored. Like I am never bored near an Aries or a Leo. They just always, they come up with fun, humorous observations of the world. And you know, they're just dynamic as all get out. So that is you guys. Beautiful. Now we're on to number three, you guys, and I'm going to have a little siplet. Because my face is gabbing as fast as it can. And my throat and my hydration is trying to keep up in here. <laughs> okay, beautiful. Group three, blessings of the earth. One, a lot of you guys are in for a new start. You're in for a new refresher. Something is going on where you're not going to capitulate anymore. Like, oh, yeah, I'll just do that for you. Oh, yeah, I'll just give in. Oh, here's my resources. Here's my attention. And no, you know, something happens when we're constantly dive investing our time in other people. I must say divesting, investing our time in other people continually. And we forget about ourselves. And you're like, oh yeah, my manicure's gone to hell. My skin looks like shit. I never eat. I'm, I'm dehydrated. I'm wearing what I was wearing yesterday. Go and go. Mothers know that sometimes they do that. I mean, I used to wake up and right away, I used to just have this neck for, let me fix that. And then let me get that and get this. And I'd get run down. And what happens with that instead of the glory of helping can turn into resentment. Like, why can't they do it for themselves? You know why? Because we constantly provided it without even asking and now they feel entitled to it. So withdraw a little bit and get in a receptive state. That's what's happening for you, group one, because you're getting receptive for your love. You're getting receptive for what you deserve and you deserve a lot and you're getting ready. Let's see what planets are also going to affect you right now. So you have Mercury and your this love phase. Venus, of course, love. Funnily enough, Venus in retrograde is kind of funny because we reassess what's important. So remake your list if you want to. Is it devotion and humor and intelligence and all of that and authenticity, all of those things start to reiterate what's important because everything that has to do with a retrograde has to do with re revision, um, rethinking, revising, all of that. We got it. We got it. What, what is new? Um, you know, re-editing. Well, yeah, I used to think this was important, but I, do I still, you know what I mean? Like what used to hold heavy meaning sometimes doesn't a month later, right? We might've been going on some course of action or creative endeavor that now has switched over. Mercury communication. You're really going to be able to step up with really elucidating your words, erudite speaking, clear clarity. You know, no one's making assumptions because you've let people know this is what's that. And that's how this is going to go. And here's these boundaries. And this is a deal breaker, so on and so forth. No more messing around. You're serious and you're serious about your goals and dreams and you're not going to be waylaid by this. Yeah. And this is part of why you're seeing things from a higher perspective. You've decided, listen, I've called in this love. I'm waiting for it. I know I'm going to have access to it and I am not messing around anymore and I'm ready to go. And it's like, you know, either, either follow the lead or get off the train because I feel like you've put up with a lot in the past. It could be from your own children, from your friends, whatever. And you're like, nope, not going to do it. And here is two of their initials. I decided to pull two different things. P C C P and we are going to see what their zodiacs are as well. Ooh, so we have Aquarius the Innovator. We'll start with that beautiful innovator. Now I love me some Aquariuses because they are super humanitarian. They are radical. They are eccentric. They are diverse. They are so well read. They're always planning for the future. They're very experimental, but they're rational too. They, I got to pay this bill. I'm not going to go into debt. I, you know, my car has oil and all of that. They're very rational in that, but the POW is right. Pow. When you meet one, you know it. They are so smart and slick and together and like boom, 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 boom. And, and they retain information like, like nobody's business. It's amazing. So beautiful Taurian energy, the energy, the bombshell. This person is, I do feel is going to be extremely good looking. They're very earthy and practical for sure. Productive, fertile, um, ample, worthy, right. Pleasure seeking, sensuous. They do. They love good food. They love good clothes. They love nice fabrics. They like a beautiful aesthetic, just really like just glossy, shiny, and glamorous for sure. And I feel like right now you are revising your list. You're like, listen, this is important to me. And I want someone who has just shine, sparkle, personality is giving and loving and caring. And, um, you know, that is going to make a difference in a good way to the world. So here's some of their personality traits. Kim, King of Pentacle, somebody very strong, somebody who has amassed a bit of a fortune and some money. They know how the energy of money works. They know by being generous and by sharing and caring and loving and not being selfish or having lack mentality, more always arrives. And they also understand, you know, investment. I feel like this person has something, again, constant real estate is coming in. And real estate is always something that usually 
fluctuates and increases dramatically at times so they understand real estate as well so i feel like that might be some of their investor shares okay very passionate the ace of wands of course is super like passion very very sensuous loving always loves to hold hands rub your back be close words of affection and sweetness i love that let's get a time frame for you guys so seven seven months very nice so seven months for you guys now let's get back to this king of pentacles because right away i feel like you meet them at some kind of function where they stand out they look dramatically much more elegant and pulled together and refined than a lot of people that you see there is something about them where they just look sharp it is it, just something that grabs your attention first of all and then the eye contact and then you just start having a discussion because it's like some of these people you may have a brush with fame as well um, because they just are so together and so polished and not in a threatening way just a wow like beautiful grabs your attention that way and also i just feel like there's this gleam and sparkle and happiness you know when you're putting out this beautiful vibration and frequency that's very attractive right now and not not only you know is that kind of like beautiful sonar for your soulmate and, and that's what's pulling them in but also other people so you're gonna have other suitors and attentive people around you that want to get to know you but you'll know right away you're like no that's friend material no that's you know maybe a couple dates and get to know you but this person undeniable like a big old smack right across the face from the universe going uh, the one the one the one and you're like yes sorry i'm in it to win it let's do this thing and it does happen i'm serious it's uh, my experience was it was almost like you know when you hit that area i call it the bread basket and it knocks the wind out of you it's that kind of feeling like all of a sudden you feel like did i forget to breathe for like five minutes or what's happening like you're just knocked for a loop but then when you come back and you ground out there's this beautiful flow of conversation there's this familiarity there's this knowing there's this beauty and magic to the connection and that's what's going to be taking place for you oh i love that so much let me pull one more thing for you so stargazer energy yeah set, set your sights higher so why you're doing this and venus is in retrograde and all these things are happening set your sights higher if you think that you you already have a killer bucket list fill that bucket higher because you're deserving of more things and karmically they're going to arrive for you in this love and everything and in your future as well group fee so beautiful energy if you're new to my channel welcome don't forget to press like and subscribe all my links are down below please subscribe so you can enter into all the good giveaways over on instagram which is sparkwist 11 come join the contest for the free read and picking anything from my store the emerald with the crystal matching band all of those things because i want to give back to you guys and come on over and see me there's daily posts and memes and we have so much fun and also if you would like your own personal read on your soulmate or anything else all the descriptions everything your future all my links are down below for that as well thank you guys for all your great feedback i love when i send out your private reads and like right after you watch them you give me this feedback and it's so lovely and it, i really appreciate it and you guys you are the best and a lot of you guys i do continuation reads for and i really feel like i'm really connected to your energy and i love to do that and you guys are amazing so again you guys thanks for your love and support keep on winning